Good news, those guys, because we got into this year, beginning of the year, we were in a really significant drought since the beginning of the month. So just in what the last 13 days, we've seen three and a half inches of rain. That's way above average. And we're at almost 10 inches on the year, which is what? Two and a half times the normal amount of rain that we've gotten. So we are now only seeing 7% of our state in a very small drought in North Georgia. Really good news as we head towards the springtime months. Nor'easter occurring up in New England. Going to be a lot of snow from New Jersey up through Boston. Check your flights if you're headed there behind it. Chilly air settling in. The clouds are going to clear out now. I promise in the next couple of hours we'll start to see clearer skies. Uh, the wind is still going. You can see the breeze. Centennial Olympic Park, the camera's shaking a little bit. The flags are still blowing. That breeze is going to be with us through most of the day today. You can see wind gusts between 20 to 30 miles per hour till around 4 or 6 p.m. So it's not until this evening that the wind dies down. So factor that into the way it feels outside today. It is going to be a chilly afternoon. By the time you eat lunch, it should be very sunny. Not a cloud in the sky through the afternoon. 3 p.m. we hit 53 degrees. We'll top out in the mid 50s. So it will be a cool day, certainly the coolest day of the rest of the work week. We start tomorrow in the low 30s, but a major warmer tomorrow. The wind totally dies down. Your Valentine's Day, you're looking at 62 degrees. Even the mountains at the low 60s tomorrow. And if you have a Valentine's Day dinner, it also looks quite nice. 6 p.m., it's still 58 degrees outside. Clear skies at 8 p.m., still 50. So you're not going to need all the extra layers. Ladies, if you're thinking about what you're wearing, yeah, you're not going to need that big, thick coat. 10 p.m., it's still 46 degrees outside. So really nice for Valentine's Day. You can see clear skies on the map. Really nice for Thursday as well. We're in the mid-60s. By Friday, we start to see our clouds increase. We may tap into a few showers late on Friday. We're tracking the chance for a few of these showers to last into Saturday. Right now, Saturday is trending mostly dry. But after this little bout of rain moves out, it is going to get really cold on Saturday. I'm thinking we're probably not going to make it out of the 40s on Saturday. It's going to be quite breezy. Right now, we're going with 30% chance of rain, but we're going to watch that rain system closely, okay? There's a low that's going to lift out of the Gulf that may bring us higher rain chances, so something to note if you have Saturday plans. Either way, I'd plan on a pretty chilly weekend, okay? 55 degrees today. Then we're in the 60s for the remainder of the work week. Thursday, Friday look great. Again, a few showers late Friday, possibly a little rain Saturday. Windy cold, cloudy and cold on Saturday, and it stays quite chilly on Sunday as well. Meteorologist Rodney Harris is here now. Rodney, we've been spoiled the last couple of weeks. Yes. I mean, it's been in the 60s. Looks like we're going to get a couple of really nice days in the 60s. Average